We are playing the fool. And it is not a little bit of foolery. It is a lot. And I'm not casting blame on any single person, but I am reaching out to a civilization and to a people. Every time we lose now, it is like a cuff in the bottom of your belly. Every time we hear that we can no longer qualify for that which we ought to have won. I remember as a school child, 1975, the first World Cup. Mrs. Carrington went looking for a group of us all over her school. She could not find us. We were down in the well of the steps to the basement of her house hiding out with a transistor radio. Listening to that wonderful partnership that brought us home. And I ask myself, therefore, what will it take for us to have the honesty and the integrity of decision making? to allow us to do right. Some may argue that it is incapable of voluntary decision making. I disagree. Some may argue that we may have to do like India and go to the Supreme Court and have cricket declared as a public good. Problem is, is that there may be no unanimity as to which court to go to since all of us don't belong to the Caribbean Court of Justice. Some of these things bring laughter because we're Caribbean people, and we must laugh. As Chalk Dust said, you either write, learn to laugh, or you go mad and write your epitaph, the great language of Chalky. But what we have found ourselves in is a predicament that is no longer sustainable. And I pray that there will be the encounter between the Prime Ministerial Subcommittee on Cricket and the leadership of Cricket West Indies and those others who are of similar love for the game and the civilization. Our people have already voted and they have voted with their feet. I was horrified when I watched the audiences or lack thereof this last week. 